storm where the summer comes early and then leaves for some inexplicable reason. This is tell it to someone. First question is from Sirius Mind. If one gets fairy floss stuck in their teeth, how, what would they use to get it out? Well, uh, fairy floss is of course a difficult problem. Um, you only can get it really truly removed if you have your teeth removed. And then the the fairy the tooth fairy comes and uh, you know it doesn't give you enough money to replace the actual teeth. Um, so just don't eat fairy floss unless you are under dental uh, authority to do so. Roll of Nichols asks the next question. Do you Aussies have a comparable series to Yes Minister? Ah yes, Yes Minister, where uh, the, uh, where the uh, Minister and then the Prime Minister had a bit of a problem with the public service and that the public service stops them doing whatever they want to do and do what the public service tells them to do because that's how things run. Um, yeah, well, uh, there, there is, of course, uh, the ex-Prime Minister on ABC and uh, also, um, also something called... Uh, 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 Utopia, which is also an excellent show. But I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You thought I was going to name the uh, Australian Parliament, but no. No, unfortunately not. There's nothing stopping them from making incredibly bad decisions. Dave O'Hunter asks next question. What's the deal with bathroom show? What's the deal with bathroom showers? We spend all our times running away from rainstorms, and yet we can we create a special room so we that we stand that does the same sort of thing. Yes, but uh, but the uh, bathroom showers have these things called hot water and soap, and the outside showers have these things called cold wind and lightning. And the bathroom showers more comfortable, and you, you can draw on the mirror after you've finished. You draw penises on the mirror. You can't do that in real life, unless unless I do this. Next question is uh, from uh, from Lord Skimmer. Why do people get so upset when I bring a gun to school, even though I mention it's because I wanted to be cool? It's not cool. It's what Americans do. You're supposed to be a hipster, goddammit. Next question is from uh, the Gingerhead Man. If I eat myself, would I become twice as big or disappear completely? Dis right. See, the problem is, um, once you get to a certain point, you kind of die. And so you will disappear completely, but not in a physical sense. You will just be uh, this, uh, this, uh, you know, half-eaten human with a half-eaten, half, half an eaten human inside you. Next question is uh, from. Uh, the swirly thing that says the app has crashed. Macabre Malefica. If I make love explosion on the train, will police's man come do arrest on me? Yes. Yes, I will. And that's the whole point, isn't it? Next question is Boss Haas. Where do I go when I go to sleep? Can you meet me there? Uh, yes, I, I do normally meet me, meet you there, but sometimes I said the cat, and the cat, like, um, sits in front of you, in front of your nose, and just watches you while you sleep. Watches you. And it's not even your cat. It just comes in, in the night, and watches you. And I think it's taking your brain somewhere and giving you the dreams that way as far as I am concerned. That's what happens with me. Next question is from uh, K. 
KB. If Mothra, re if Mothra became an airline service, would you trust the ferry twins to show you the proper exits? And where do you think the exits would be? Well, um, the exits would be in the holes uh, torn through Mothra by Godzilla. I pronounced that right. It is actually Godzilla. Not Godzilla. That is the American spelling. The pronunciation and spelling. Am I weeaboo enough yet? Next one is Kaydavan. What makes cats and dogs think they need to fight? Obviously, it's the need to fight. Really. I mean, I mean, cats are just out there stealing people's dreams and breathing in their faces and, uh, and, uh, you know, eating mice and stuff. And dogs are like, oh, I want, I want some attention. I want, I want some attention, please. Come on, come on. Give me belly rubs. Give me belly rubs. Give me belly rubs. <laughs> and, uh, and cats like, yeah, fuck you. And then goes and, you know, knocks the vase off the shelf. Um, so, you know, there's a bit of tension going on there, and if they didn't relieve that tension, there would be huge problems. It's in the Bible. Aaron, Baron, Baron, Ben Aaron asks, uh, on a scale of Donald Trump to uh, Jesse the Body Ventura, what does Tony Abbott rank? Well, um, Jesse the Body Ventura, of course, is a heavyweight, and, uh, and uh, and uh, Donald Trump is, of course, a bit of a lightweight. Uh, and uh, um, Tony Abbott is, uh, well, he was a boxer. He was a boxer. He got he got his uh, he he got his uh, road scholarship from punching young uh, priests in the face. And therefore, he's not in the same league. He is in a completely different league because Jesse the Body Ventura was in the WWF slash E. And Tony Abbott is a unbelievable cretin who managed to run a country for nearly two years, just short of uh, the requirement of, for, you know, getting a pension. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know. It, you know, it's just something else entirely. And I'm back. Uh, that's the end of Tell Someone for this week. If you would like to ask a question, then you can ask me a question down in the uh, river. And uh, if 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 you would like to answer the dovetail question, then you can answer the dovetail question here. And uh, oh, there's a bonus last question for today. What's so ba great about hedges, and why do hedgehogs have to hog them all the time? Oh, um, well, a hedgehog, of course, is a, uh, a chocolate biscuit of some description, and they are made of chocolate. Apparently, that's what I've been told by the people who print the uh, packets of hedgehogs that I eat way too often. I'm fat, you see. Ah, uh, so I don't know. I, I really don't know. Stop asking me. I need better questions.